Minister of Human Services and Social Security Dr. Vinya Prasad on Tuesday joined sponsors of the fourth edition of We Lift, Women Empowerment Leading Innovating Flourishing Together at the ministry's Lamaha Street Georgetown office where some $9 million was handed over to the ministry for the exhibition. The major sponsors are Enet, ExxonMobil, School of the Nations and Demerar Bank Limited. Minister Prasad told reporters that part of the government's commitment to the empowerment and upskilling of women is to give them technical and vocational skills for them to be financially independent. We are also partnering with a company called Ella Inc. And this company is hosting a sort of a mentorship competition where they're focusing on teenage and young adult women. So they can now understand the whole model of entrepreneurship. They can do business pitches. Pamela O'Toole, a senior managing director from the School of the Nation, handed over a $5 million check to the minister for the event. This donation is part of efforts to ensure that women-owned businesses do not have to pay for a boot. I think they're really crucial. I mean, I think to offer women the opportunity to exhibit at no cost is really remarkable. I know when we exhibit at Oil and Gas or you know, even Guy Expo, it's very expensive to have a booth and to be allowed to do that. So. so for us, women empowerment is crucial, it's important and one of our strategic focus areas in country. And over the years, we've been supporting the ministry with the Relift initiative. And we're happy to come on board again this year, supporting. Meanwhile, in a massive step to ensure these women-owned businesses have access to finances, the Demerara Bank Limited is offering its DBL Women of Worth promotion that provides credit financing for educational programs, retirement plans and investment plans. Being able to partner with WeLift will bring so much to us. It will allow us to launch what we have um, in terms of a program that we will be collaborating with other entities, including the ministry, in what we call DBL Women in Wealth. That is a program where Demar Bank will be providing financing or credit financing, to some extent partnering with orders like Nation here to do um, educational programs, retirement plans, investment strategies, training, stuff like that. Women will be able to access financing from the bank with a lowered interest rate of 8% and a waivered processing fee for loans. These are efforts to assist small businesses with development, Praveeni Ramatar, the bank's marketing manager, said. Reporting for the newsroom, Lazina Yearwood.